Celebrity bourbon. Is there a celebrity endorsed bottle of bourbon or whiskey out there that is actually any good? We've already touched on a couple in previous reviews and neither of those whiskeys were bottles that I'd be buying again. So I'm hoping that we can change that today. And in this video, I'm going to give you the forecast on this McTavish Spirits bottled and bond bourbon whiskey called the War Chief and whether or not it's going to break that celebrity mold or if we're going to have ourselves another bust and waste of money. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Welcome back to the Whiskey Weather YouTube channel. I am Brandon. I'm a TV meteorologist in Cincinnati, Ohio and Northern Kentucky, hence Whiskey Weather like the shirt I'm wearing, which you can buy in the description below if you want one. But here on the channel, I give you the forecast of the latest releases and trends in the whiskey world, but also trying to hopefully save you from spending your hard-earned money on bottles of whiskey that really aren't worth it and steering in the right direction on bottles to look for on your next trip to the liquor store. Speaking of bottles, we're going to be reviewing this McTavish Spirits bottle in Bond. If you already have it, or you've already tried it, don't be shy. Drop the comments below of what your thoughts are. So we'd love to hear you from that. As I mentioned with the open, this is a celebrity bourbon. There's a ton of them out there. Let's get right to it. We've got Blackened from Metallica. We've got Heaven's Door from Bob Dylan. Brothers Bond, this one here. It comes from Ian Summerhalder and Paul Wesley, the actors from Vampire Diaries. There's Bradshaw Bourbon from Terry Bradshaw, NFL quarterback. There's Peyton Manning, who has Sweeten's Cove Bourbon. Gentleman's Cut Bourbon, which we've already done a review on. That comes from Steph Curry, if you want to check out that video. Old Camp, which is Florida Georgia Lines. Bottled, uh, bottle of whiskey. I do think they might have a bourbon as well. American Highway Preserve or Reserve from Brad Paisley. Digits from Scotty Pippen. I heard that was bad. Log and Branch, which used to be endorsed by Matthew McConaughey. And then most recently, one of the ones that we just did a review on a few days ago, a few weeks ago, Traveler Whiskey uh, from Chris Stapleton. And you can check out the review there on the top right of your screen. So now we have this one, and it's called McTavish Spirits. It's named after actor Graham McTavish, who you might recognize from a few of those Hollywood shows and those successful TV show franchises. I know he's in the House of Dragon. I'm Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Uh, the Witcher, you probably more famously know him from a TV show called Outlander. I believe he is Dougal McKenzie. How am I to address you, sir? You can call me McKenzie, haven't it, please you? What if I be informal? You can call me Chief McKenzie. Uh, he's also in Men in Kilts with Sam Hewen, who also has the Sassanek uh, Scotch brand, I believe. Um, he's also in Hobbit movies, as well as I think he was in Aquaman, Creed, and The Finest Hour. But let's not talk anymore about McTavish or Graham McTavish. Let's talk about the bottle of whiskey. We last saw this bottle actually on my bourbon hunt at Liquor Barn, uh, the latest bourbon hunt up there on the top right of your screen if you want to check this out. But this is McTavish Spirits Bottle and Bond. On the back of the bottle, a Scotsman dream of America. I'm so proud to introduce my love of the true American spirit with the War Chief, which you can find there on the bottom. Uh, hand selected by me, I believe this to be an exceptional bourbon whiskey, bringing together the passion from my homeland and great traditions of fine American whiskey. It combines the two cultures that have helped shape my life and career. So it's a bottle and bond. On the bottom, it says distilled by Midwest Grain Products, DSP IN15016. So that is clearly MGP whiskey. I love me some MGP. I don't know about you, but if you do too, don't forget to smash that like button. So it says bottle and bond, and it is bottled in Coastal Pure Beverages LLC DSP SC 15001. So that is bottled in South Carolina. Bottle and bond means it's got to come in right at 100 proof, but it's a lot higher than the age statement must be for bottle and bond. Of course, we already know four years is the minimum it has to be to be labeled at bottle and bond bourbon. This comes in at seven years. This is the 75214 corn, rye, malted barley. So again, 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% malted barley. That's the low rye mash bill from MGP. Like I mentioned, I really like MGP juice, and I'm probably gonna like this. As you see, I've had the bottle for a while. It's not, I didn't buy it at the store the a uh, uh, couple weeks ago. I've already had a fair share of it. So this checks in on McTavishSpirits.com for $75. That's a little high up there for my liking. That's about the same price as the Gentleman's Cut from Steph Curry. That was around 80. So the color on this thing, uh, pretty amber-ish. Very good color. Yep. The legs on it, 
It's a little watery on the sides. It doesn't really stick as much as some of those others. Ooh, that's a cherry bomb right off the nose. Very similar to those MGP noses. Very sweet. Caramel, cherry. There's some shortbread there as well, like a shortbread Lorna Dune cookie or something like that. Yeah, cherry's really the big thing that pops. I haven't had a cherry bomb like this in a while. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, got that. Okay, the first thing I can think of, it's like an orange sweet tart. I think I just, what did I just do? I think it was the uh, that coal mine bourbon that tasted like the cherry sweet tart to me. But it's sweet tarty up front, then it becomes more like a brown sugar shortbread on the palate, just like on the nose, with a little bit of that rye spice towards the back. As far as the mouthfeel, like a velvety butter just coats your entire mouth very good and co coats the entire mouth you get that good tingle a little bit of that cinnamon uh definitely a tingle on the tongue on the back end with some of that oak coming through some of the rye it's all really blended well there's nothing that's really overpowering out of any of this again 75 21 4 so 75 percent corn 21 percent rye 4 percent malted barley as i talk more I still feel it on the back. You know what this really reminds me of? Is this rabbit hole high gold. If you're a fan of this bottle, this is actually gonna be very similar. I think this is slightly cheaper uh, as this comes from rabbit hole distillery. This is a 70-25-5 mash bill. So similar, but not the same. But I think that these would be very comparable. Uh, again, I think that this is pretty good. Uh, it's probably one of the better celebrity whiskeys that I've tried. Obviously, I've had quite a bit of it, uh, and I continue to go back for a pour here or there. I think that they've got something going on here. Seven years, so you would think, uh, when it comes to the latest pricing, around $10 a year, so 75 maybe slightly higher. They are sourcing it from MGP. All in all, I think that this is a really good bottle of whiskey. The only thing I don't like about it is it's $75. Would rather see this right around that $60 or so, but I totally understand. They've got to source it, they've got to bottle it, and they're not distilling it themselves, so they've got a lot of other overhead that they've got to pay, and that's what you're trying to give back with with the bottle. But all in all, if you see this, I wouldn't think that you're going to be disappointed by buying this. Is it the best whiskey I've ever had? No. But it's nowhere near the worst. We've had several pours of bad whiskey. It's a solid bourbon. And of course, uh, probably one of the better, if not the best celebrity brands that I've tried so far. As you saw, I've got the Brothers Bond Cask Strength. That's another review down the road. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, for those latest forecasts. But. If you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my latest forecasts. My forecast is sunny. I'd say that this is a good bottle to go out and buy. As always, I close this out the same way with every video. It is always whiskey weather. Just please remember, when you're drinking, drink responsibly. Always have a DD if you're going to be driving somewhere and have a safe ride home. But until next time, that forecast is always sunny. It's always whiskey weather. Be safe, my friends.